Hello, everybody. We're doing Black Ops 3 tonight. Resurgence, rejuvenated. Bouncing back to 2015. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 contains graphic content, historical footage, and language. Would you like to enable the graphic content? Yeah. I'm not doing uh, single player right now. I want to hop into the new, uh, the fresh multiplayer action. Uh, and my history with Black with Call of Duty lately uh, w has just been World War II. Um, and then before that, the last Call of Duty I played was Black Ops. So I'm a little bit behind, but this is the latest Treyarch Call of Duty. So it's still pretty popular. Welcome to the multiplayer. Oh yeah, and see, I'm not, I wasn't interested in, in all this new Call of Duty because they have all the, uh, the jumpsuits and it just got a little too complicated. Every specialist has a unique power weapon and ability. Okay, so I gotta kind of figure out who I want to be here. Maybe I want to do battery. Yep, I'm doing battery for now. Everything else is locked. One woman fire support team heading out. You know I gotta put the headphones on for this. Theater mode, that's missing from World War II. It's so sad when companies have newer games in their franchise, but they have less features. I just don't, I'll never understand that. Uh, I'm looking for an option screen. Gunsmith. Well, I wish they would show you some stats, you know, instead of just having to read descriptions. I'm just going to stick with whatever they give me. Let's jump into it. And this game was announced for free um, yesterday, I believe, Monday, Monday night, at Sony's E3 conference public match. Let's jump right into it. Make sure the mic is off. Create a class. I guess I need to do that. So I want to rock with a submachine gun. Already, this looks way better than World War II. It is now two a.m. Just give me a pistol. Concussion grenade. Oh yeah, that's what we want right there. Okay, afterburner. Thrusters have faster recharge rate. See, the thrusters. I'm a little, 
like I said, this that's why I didn't jump into these newer Call of Duties because they have all the jumpsuits and the wall running and it's just too crazy. It's insanity. But it's free. I'm gonna try it out. You know, they never offered a a, a demo or anything, so I could never try it without having to pay. Uh, I well, I can't unlock anything, so. But I do want to know what I'm dealing with. Swap weapons faster and aim faster after sprinting. That's pretty good. Hip fire weapon, deploy equipment, and throw grenades while sprinting. Perfect. Oh, what's a wild card? Okay. So right now it's pretty simple. They're easing, easing me into it, which I like. I don't like that I am specifically the battery chick. You know, in all the other games, you just had generic soldiers. But here you got, like, these superheroes. Okay, let's find a match. I'm hoping to see a lot of low-level players. Okay, uh... What is this? Snipers only. Okay, we want core. And it's good that it tells you how many players are in the playlist. That way you're not, you don't waste your time. And it kind of sucks that there's... You know, we got a Black Ops Resurgence here, and you're telling me there's zero... Zero people in these playlists? Well, I want to start off with some uh, domination. Domination is one of my favorite modes. 7% in playlist, so not that many people, but yeah, we got a match. Some low level, well, no, these guys are all prestiged, man. There's, I think there are three actual low level. Only three low level players. Let's just do team deathmatch. Instantly booted in or launched into a match. But I heard the the story to this game is insane. And I usually go through the stories on these games. Usually that's the first thing I do, is go through the story, and then I'll hop into multiplayer. But, you know, this is a, a three-year-old game brought back to life. Not saying it was dead, but we got a lot of new players now since it's free. So I want to hop into it like, kind of like it was. it's the first time anyone's played it. Which is the best time to play these multiplayer games, is when they come out, right when they launch. Everyone's new, everyone's learning the game. Team Black Ops. Clock is running. Feels good. Okay, so you just hold X. This looks insane. We got widescreen minimap. Need more sensitivity. Can't feel it. I can't feel it. Okay. So it looks like they're doing the score streaks instead of kill streaks. I think a lot of the Call of Duty's have been doing that lately. Oh, that's cool. Hold down your crouch button to do a dash. This is kind of this is how I like to play the Call of Duty games. Just kind of 
take it slow, go around the outer edges. Because you can catch people off guard so easily. Hold square for CUDA? Oh. Like a uh, weapon pickup, I think that's what that was. Call of Duty feels so good. Say what you want. Constantly looking at the minimap, I love it. I can't believe this game is free. Oh, wall running, hold on. So how do you do it? You just hold the wall. You don't even have to be sprinting. War machine ready, press L2, R2. I don't know what that does. A friendly care package incoming. Lucky on that. War machine. See, I don't want to look like a fool and just activate it and like waste it. I have no idea what kind of weapon this is. Thinking some kind of grenade? Whoops. Okay, that's pretty cool. Sorry. <laughs> Bouncing Betty, I guess. The weapons sound really quiet though. My aiming. Aiming is off. Yeah, my aim is off. 
It, I don't think it has that aim acceleration that World War II has. I hated that. Pretty cool. Call of Duty, it's one of those games that at first I never understood why people played it, but you just gotta jump in, dude, and, you, and you'll understand it. It's really fun to play. I mean, I played World War II, I got, I hit Prestige, and it felt like it didn't take any time at all. I just played and naturally you're just gonna level up. But I never ever watch anyone else play. It's just kind of one of those things I like to do on my own. It's so hard, to, and it's so hard to keep up with games nowadays, man, because it's. You know, if, if you're not buying the newest games, the biggest games, we got God of War, Shadow of Colossus, Dark Souls Remastered, so many games that you can't keep up with, and then they go ahead and give you the free games every month. It's ridiculous. So what do we got on the, the double XP? Snipers only, sticks and stones, free for all, eliminating enemies using the NX Shadow Claw or Ballistic Knife. Nah. Team Deathmatch. I try not to get in rooms with stupid people. So it's just these same repeating characters. Nuketown. Oh boy. It's weird to see where the CDP versus the Black Ops, it's the same characters, so what does it matter? Whatever, it's multiplayer. aiming and shooting and all that stuff. I mean, this looks cool. I guess this is just so you don't jump over it. Yeah. games man you just have to wear headphones
care package inbound. This battle is ours to lose. Don't! Oh, it is so great that Call of Duty has kill cams, man. Friendly UAV inbound. Friendly Talon inbound. They're really helpful. Especially if you're new to the game. Trying to shoot through the walls. So these like your asses could stand another kicking. The guns feel weak? Or they sound weak anyway. That's just kind of Call of Duty's way. You'll get used to it. Some cutscene action, that's pretty cool. So if you're just joining us, if you're new to the channel, normally I do Skyrim every night, Monday through Thursday, guaranteed live streams at 2 a.m. Skyrim uh, Special Edition on the PS4. Blind playthrough. But uh, I had to hop in. How could I say no? So, okay, you level up your gun. And what does that do exactly? Weapon level 4, but what does that mean? Oh, does that mean you get new optics and stuff like that? Yeah, weapon level 5, 8, 13. Dude, reflex is perfect. I love the reflex sight. Got a suppressor. Love suppressors. Wait, you can do maximum number of items. You have the maximum number, number of items. Choose an, an item to replace. Holy crap. So where's my item limit? That's so cool. I already have two, I have three attachments. Two attachments, I guess. One optic. Okay, can I, um, a specialist, that's what I want to look at. I want to see what she has again. Use one unlock, oh, f unlock. So you can only either have the kinetic, kinetic armor or the war machine. Good God, this gets crazy. Reactive armor that deflects enemy bullets away from the body, still vulnerable to headshots and non-bullet damage. Grenade launcher that fires bouncing grenades, which detonate after a short time. I kind of feel like I want the kinetic armor. You need fire support? 
Did I do it? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty cool. Some weapon bios. Or, uh, character bios. Shows me that they care. Okay, I see. I'm starting to see how this works. You got your your character picture, and it tells you what ability they have. Not that I know. I don't know what any of these mean except for kinetic armor. Wait, why didn't my, um, optics and stuff, my attachments, why didn't they save? Looks like Summit. I wish you could join lobbies um, that have people playing that aren't in parties. Although, you, I mean, you're not going to be able to stop people from using, uh, well, alternate voice chat sources, but, you know. I would really love to just play with other solo people. Okay, so I do have my attachments. They just weren't showing up on the screen. screen.
Dude, nice. What I was trying to do on that one when I was in this tunnel facing the other way, I was trying to throw another concussion, but I forgot I, sw I removed my concussion so I could have um, another uh, attachment. I was like, what the heck am I trying to do? It's just too silly, you know, and at the time, I wasn't about to spend 60 bones on a silly, a silly Call of Duty game. And Call of Duty has always been insane, but silly, no, nah, no. Nah. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't take it seriously. And you're not supposed to, but I wanted to. Call duty. So I have an unlock token. I have access to smoke screen. And I have a sight for my pistol. That one dude is level 329. That's just too crazy. That's too much, dude. Just start a new file at that point. Wait, wait, so I don't have any tactical nades? No, I want my concussion. Get rid of the lethal. But how did I have a grenade, a frag, in that last round, and a concussion? How is that possible? And the kinetic, the kinetic armor lasts a decent amount of time, longer than I expected anyway. Here we go, the first match that I'm in where I start from the beginning. And I can't tell, is the controller making noise? I have headphones on, so I can't really tell. I think it is. I don't know the choke points on this level. really from behind. He just spawn? Or did he dash over there? Is this that same map but in night daytime? Dude, controller's making noises. That's crazy. Friendly UAV inbound. Counter UAV inbound. Shut out. 
Out of ammo, dude. Need a weapon. My freaking thumbs are slippery, I just put lotion on. I'm gonna have to turn those controller sounds off. That's really cool, but it's it's a bit too loud. I like that they stuck with the final kill cam instead of a stupid highlight that the game wants to determine. You know, I've seen highlights in World War II where it's just, it's literally just a double kill. I think the final cam is a little more uh, motivational. A recon scope. I like the uh, reflex sight. It's always been one of my favorites. Reflex and red dot. Okay, I understand now. The 10 out of 10, those are my attachment slots or whatever. I thought I was leveling that up and when it reached 10, I would get, grab an unlock token. But those are that's my uh, item capacity. 
I'm pretty sure. Stick with it. So far, I'm seeing a lot of Sparrow. That's the one that I notice in every match. I notice those Sparrows. I be itchy. Game is insane. The jumping and stuff isn't as bad as I thought. I thought there were going to be dudes everywhere flying. It's a little crazy that people can jump like 12 feet high, but 20 feet high or whatever, but you know, it's actually pretty cool. It's a little crazy how fast you can run out of ammo. Dude's got skills. That dude jumped over me, I'm not sure. I think that red meant that I was marked, I'm not really sure. So cool. Tacom, entering Hellstorm 
So crazy. Like you hear that sound effect, you know someone's in the air, so... Well, I guess they could be dashing too, so... I don't know. The guy that killed me. When you're this hard, there's no way to lose. Let's get in one more good match. I want to try to do um, domination or I know it's probably going to be impossible, but capture the flag is is my favorite game mode. But I don't think I'm going to find anyone playing capture the flag. So I got a weevil submachine gun. I'm into that. I'm into the submachine guns. And I have two unlock tokens. Rate of fire is very high. Whoa, look at these weapons. Holy crap. What in the world, dude? What's the magazine size? It says, uh, high fire rate in magazine capacity. Large magazine capacity with modest damage. Nah, dude, I'm going with the VMP. Cannot be targeted by enemy aircraft weapon systems. Displays a mini-map indicator with the direction of nearby enemies. Even if they're, they haven't been spotted, I think I might want that. Dude, I totally want that. Oh, and you can have like two perks of each um, category? Spawn in with starting with a starting bonus to your okay. Immune to counter UAV, power core, EMP grenade, and smoke screen won't trigger trip mine. Dude, that sounds insane.
I need 25 ex XP. So I'll probably get that just by joining the next match. Alright. So let's see, what game mode can we do? Domination. Come on, find me some domination. Here we go. Six on two. Why would they throw me on, on this team? God, I don't know what I'm doing. B locked down. Friendly UAV inbound. Nice. Is that a charge weapon? Oh my god. Thrown off by that, thrown off by that. It's alright, I understand now.
man, what the heck? Losing Bravo. The summary. The summary or whatever. It's cool that you get a little overflow kill cam. I'm not going in, not going in. Oh god. Oh my god, dude. Whoa, that was trip me up. Enemy took Bravo. C secure. Losing Alpha. Battery. Was that even was that what? What kind of weapon was that? I don't know if I like that weapon too much. So apparently a one-shot kill? I don't... Oh my god. Jeez, dude. That's, see, that's why I got that rate of fire, though. For moments like that. Go this way. Friendly UAV inbound. <laughs> Losing Charlie. Trip mine. Losing Alpha. All locations secured. Hold the positions. We lost A. Friendly Hellstorm inbound. Is there like a dude back here? Losing Charlie. Hostile UAV spotted. UAV inbound. What? There's like a dude back there. We lost C. Whatever. Securing C. UAV inbound. Oh my god. Underwater kill. Care package overhead. 
Splash. Securing Charlie. Securing Alpha. Medical good to go. Enemy took me. Advised. Hostile UAV incoming. Alpha Dude, what the heck is that? Oh. Kinetic armor discharged. Hostile talent detected. Battery requesting UAV. Charlie. I like, um... There doesn't seem to be any camping, dude. I haven't encountered any shotgun campers. You make it fun to move around. You're not gonna have that many campers. I know World War Two, dude. God. Camp Heaven. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I was so gonna get him. I was so gonna get him. Had that hip fire. That was round one. Get back to boot camp. Was that round one or two of two? I don't. Did we play? No, we did play two rounds. That's so crazy. So I went negative. Dude is level 1000. People are insane. So that's it. That's going to be it for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I got to say, I'm impressed. Um, it's too bad I didn't hop on this earlier, but like I said, looking at Call of Duty doesn't look fun to me. You got to play it. And there were no demos. There, were, there was probably a beta, but I don't think I had a PS4 back then. Trade your crypto keys for one common supply drop in the black market. Okay, I'm not... All right, whatever. Look at this. So many things. Arctic body. Let me look at that real fast. You know, so I never tried it out and it didn't look fun to me. It, it was, it's too insane. Which now I can appreciate back then. I, I don't regret not getting the game. I'm never gonna regret not getting a game. But um, You know, I just... What the heck did I get? It is now 3 a.m. Oh. Just a weapon, or... Armor, body armor skin. But yeah, I it's I'm, it's much better than World War II. World, World War II just had so many little problems that... Just added up to... Ugh, frustrated me. I mean, I, I had fun with it, but it's just the little things, dude. They just add up over time. But this is really good. I like it. So if you have PlayStation Plus, get it now while it's hot. You have one month. July 11th, I think. So there's going to be a lot of new faces in Black Ops 3. I'm already seeing, like level threes and stuff I mean I just started tonight so it's a good I like it and I you know I, I heard the uh, 
the story campaign is insane so I want to check that out sometime but I just wanted to hop into multiplayer I mean we got zombies this is Treyarch zombies so you know it's good but that's all I got so until then good night everybody